Hi, I'm Aaron, a graduate of the University of the Arts in Philadelphia. I've got my BFA in drawing and painting, and today I'm going to show you how to draw wedding rings. I'll be using charcoal pencils. For more precise erasing, you can use a vinyl eraser. Okay, so I'm going to start by drawing a couple of ellipses. This drawing will be of two wedding rings laying over top of each other. The thing to remember with a wedding ring, or ring of any type, is that it is a band of metal, but the metal's thicker in the center of the piece of, you know, of the ring. So you're going to show that by having the edges be a little bit bulged. And we're going to draw the bottom of the other ellipse. Now we're going to draw the inside of the ring, which is the continuation of the ellipse that would be made through the bottom of the ring, continuing right around. If you need to draw that out, feel free to. And then you can just erase that line later. You don't really want the lines there and there to show up in your final image, so you just erase them. All right, and now the thing about the ring also is that the edge of the ring is not just a sharp blade. So we're actually going to draw a very small secondary ellipse over top of it. It's going to be very, very close together. It's going to continue all the way around. Now, about making them look like they're made of metal rather than just paper, we're going to fill in a little bit of shading. And where you're going to do that is anywhere you imagine the light not hitting, or dark objects in the room. This, this uh, upper wedding band will actually cast a dark shadow on the metal of the lower one. So right about where it's falling, and then just a little bit past, it'll be a dark, dark band. And it'll kind of terminate right up there. Same will be for the inside. Now the top band, let's say there's some lighting that's actually pointing down into the ring. So there'll be the, uh, the dark spaces where there is no light. You can just block that off. And fill that in. Then there'll be a few much lighter shadows in the metal. Most of the shadows on the surface of metal will be gradated. And doing that will really, really help achieve the look of metal. Whenever a shadow just ends abruptly, give it a secondary shadow right around it, and then maybe a third. All right, and just fix up a few little details, and once you're happy, you have a couple of convincing bands of metal, you've got it, and you can play with that form however you'd like to. This has been Aaron Wimmer showing you how to draw.